Hello everybody, we have a, a sort of a half-built Tripod One Generation 2 kit in front of us. I thought I'd give you a quick walk around, let you know some of the systems, how it sort of goes together. So, steering column is, uh, is in fact off an older uh, Hilux uh, with matching steering wheels, steering uh, boss to suit a sports application. The instruments that you see there that are not installed yet are in fact from of course the motorcycle donor. Column goes down to a quick rack. Uh, this is all fairly easy to bolt in, really. It literally, the way we supply you the car, it just bolts in. As do the wishbones, just bolt on. Um, uprights, hubs, brakes, brake rotors, calipers, what have you. Once again, it all just bolts together. Uh, we supply you in the front end kit all of those parts that you need the rack, all the ball joints, mudguard brackets. Uh, you know, coilover shocks, etc., all included. Obviously, the coilover, spring rate, damping, etc., is all rated appropriately for the vehicle that we've found after considerable testing. We've persisted with the same luggage rack that we've always had. Uh, it takes two full face helmets or two soft small bags, the same sort of 24, 25 litre fuel tank in the same position. Uh, it's a little bit bigger in most generations two, generation two chassis. This is actually the first generation two chassis. It's got air vents these days, which you know, apparently lock shut. I think they're loose on the other side when I walk. So when the side pods go on, you have a, an air intake that you can um, open or close, which we didn't have on the earlier version. Uh, gear lever arrangements work the same as always. It's a, a Morse cable, runs around and through to the rear of the vehicle with, with uh, our lever, what have you, that we've developed and designed. In the same way as we've got our uh, fiberglass seat panel that you can then upholster and pad to suit your own backside and make it very, very comfortable for you. Uh, it also sort of sits there isolated from the chassis to some degree and adds up to a more comfortable ride. But the main reason is that it's more connected to the chassis and you can make the padding to suit your backside perfectly and that way you get as much feedback from the chassis as possible. There's a little bit of rollover protection. It's probably not high enough, but it's better than nothing. The chances, of course, of rolling a tripod over are, uh, well, I don't know, I've been able to do it or even come close, but, you know, I suppose anything's possible. The business end of the machine, in this case, it's a Honda Blackbird, 1137 cc's, 155 horsepower, uh, liquid cooled, of course, by one of our custom radiators. Um, and, of course, we've uh, custom made an exhaust to, to suit, to reroute, put the the can somewhat further forward than they would be on the bike. On the bike, they're back here. We're trying to keep as much weight as far forward as possible and as low as possible. Um, it's, a, it's a design feature that is simple but important, and many three wheel car designers just don't observe the basic rules of three wheel car design, which are make it wide, make it low, make the weight as equal as possible on all three wheels. Um, Original bike suspension, you can certainly improve it a little bit with a slightly stiffer spring, perhaps a better damper. We've shortened the gearing up here by about, no, well, I'll put it this way, a Blackbird out of the factory is, is uh, geared for 300, 300 kilometres an hour at Redline. This one's geared for 250 at Redline. And uh, when it's finished, this vehicle will very nearly go that fast. Um, battery's down low. Uh, of course, the wiring is not finalised at this stage of this vehicle, so excuse the slightly scrappy nature of it. In fact, the whole vehicle's not finalised, so... All the plumbing, though, does run through here. You can see it's um, uh, easy, easily located, easy to build in the floor. We all pre-drill the chassis so you can easily run your uh, plumbing. We, of course, supply all the plumbing, and for that matter, the wiring, though, if you like. Now, it's missing a, a bonnet, side pods, engine cover, and three mud guards. Um, but those are the bits that need to be painted, and they're all off of the painters. The bits that don't need to be, and need to be upholstered at these two, that's why they're still here. I'm not sure there's really what much else I can tell you. The Generation 2 tripod is, is, is three years worth of, of, of R&D from the original orange one, and uh, I think we've made a much better vehicle. It's certainly a faster vehicle. This thing is outrageously quick. Um, yeah, it's, it's a barrel of laughs, particularly without the bodywork on it, it's a little bit lighter. Um, if you've got any questions, please email tripodcars at gmail.com and we'll um, fill you in. It's really humid today. <laughs> it's Queensland. Thank you.